Hey guys, I'm back. I want to thank everybody for the great responses to my first tutorial video. I'm going to probably make another one after I finish making this one. We'll see what happens. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm just getting off of work. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I got, uh, I guess, over the weekend or so. You know, I love going to Target or Target, Red Circle Boutique, whatever you want to call it. And I got this stuff by Sonia Kashuk called Smooth Lip Balm, SPF 15. It has vitamins A, B, and C, and it's supposed to help diminish fine lines and wrinkles. This is the bar, little container it comes in. And a nice little balm. Now, I could honestly say that the two days that I have tried it, I could tell the difference when I put on my lip gloss, lip glass, lipstick, whatever. You don't get those flakies that, you know, sometimes you look down and you're like, oh God, I got the little white thing. So, so far, it's been good to me. So, I give that like a 10. I also bought under eye treatment. It's supposed to be something that lightens dark circles and puffiness. This is the box. It's called Recede, by, also by Sonia Kashuk. And here's the kind of little bottle it comes in comes with these three little rollers on the top. When you push the bottom, it lets it out when you go under your eye. Now, I bought it because, you know, red tag means clearance. And I haven't had any real puffiness to test it out yet. So, when I, when I get it, I'll definitely let you guys know. What else did I get? Oh, I work not far from a Ricky's NYC out here in Manhattan. Now, what does this look like? Does it look like this? Can you see any differences, similarities, besides mine being old and dirty and this being new and white? We're gonna try it out and see what's the main difference. So I got this from Ricky's NYC. It's by Matisse NYC. And they call it the M43 Dual Length Face. It looks just exactly the same, but we'll, the test will be when I put some stuff on my face. It's a little softer. But then again, maybe because I haven't given it a bath yet. Who knows? So once I find out the status of that, I will definitely let you guys know. What else did I get? Oh, my hair needs to be retwisted as you can see. I'm rocking my bun. So I bought some new items. I bought olive oil setting lotion by Organics. Now, hopefully it works. If not, trial and error. You gotta do that when you got locks. You gotta find stuff that's good for you. Also bought olive and clove oil therapy supposed to be good for the scalp so we'll see what happens you could use it as a hot oil treatment you could put it instead just put it in from root to ends or just leave it in so once again once I get these babies freshly twisted and has a scalp all shining I'll let you guys know and last but not least refill and suave clarifying shampoo this is what I used when I first started my babies then I tried other stuff by Organic Root Stimulator. Now I'm back to this because this basically got all the stuff out of my hair. I try not to put too much stuff in it because washing these can be a pain in the behind sometimes because you got to wash it two, three times. Wash in sections from here, here, go all down. Uh, so yeah, this is all the stuff that I've bought and I'll definitely give you some reviews. Oh, and mommy, dear old mom, gave me some Oily, sensitive moisture therapy lotion. Now, so far I like it. I've been using this instead of my prepping prime, but it's been giving me the moisture that I needed. So, I haven't broken out yet because I'm kind of accident prone, kind of oily sometimes. So we'll see how everything goes. Also from Ricky's, I got sifter jars. These are 30 gram, three count for $3.99. Now these are the ones they look the exact same on the Mac site. They're clear. Now this I'm gonna be nice and give them to my cousin. Give her some samples of my blot powder so she knows what to do. And it's time to start making her face look because I took her to Mac this weekend. She spent almost two hundred dollars. She got sucked in. And also bought from these. These are single jars with sifters in them. I'm not sure what size they are, but can you see that? 
And then the inside has a little stopper. You just pull it out, put your product in, pop it back on, and close it on up. So I got four pack of these with $2.99. And a three pack of these with $3.99. So if you're in New York City, you should go to Ricky's and pick up some supplies. I mean, like I said, they look just like the ones from the Mac site. And I think these were cheaper by probably a dollar or two. Something of that nature. But you know I'm all about a sale. If it's on sale or cheaper, I'm going to try it out. Can't harm anything. That's why you keep your receipts. If you don't like it, you take it back. But anyway, guys, I'm going to prepare myself to do my tutorial with my pink and purple. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but right now I'm wearing Barbie's Playful and Nocturnal. And I had magic dust on my brow bone, but I'm going to do that up. I'm going to take the shine off. I'm going to redo the eyes and try to bust out a video for you guys. Okay? Any questions, you know the deal. Leave me a message. Leave it on the blog. Butterflies World at butterfliesworld.blogspot.com. All right? Later.